No, we're going to make uh, chicken tortellini. So I've got some rangatiki chicken. We're going to we're going to cook it in a broth, and that's what I've got uh, cooking over here. So just got some herbs in there and just some water, and that's it. Put your whole chicken in, and then just bring it up to the boil, simmer it for about an hour and a half, and then you're left with this beautiful chicken stock, and that's going to be the base of our broth. And all the meat we're going to put back through this uh, this broth, and we're going to make these beautiful chicken tortellinis. And we've made our pasta, so that's resting, that's ready to roll out, and we've got a nice array of different ingredients there. It's great fun making your own pasta. You can get the kids involved. It's going to be fantastic. And you're going to see later how uh, much fun it is with Mike doing tortellinis. <laughs> so join me later uh, to make some tortellinis. We're in the cafe kitchen and we're going to do a dish for winter. This is the perfect dish and we're using Ranga Tikke corn fed and free range chicken. So it's going to taste even better. But it looks complicated, so let's get it underway, Chef. Well, it's already underway. So we've been cooking the chicken. So just a few herbs and some water for about an hour and a half, right? So as you can see... What herbs and water did you use? Uh, just tap water. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, seeing that we've got some fennel in the recipe, yes. so I've just used some tops of the fennel, some tarragon and a little bit of basil, but you can okay. use any herbs what you've got lying around. Yes. So if you have a look at that, so it's nice and tender, so you're just falling apart already. Yes, it is. But then this is what the base of the broth is going to be. So you just made, essentially, made a chicken stock. OK, nice. So there's all the chicken flavours in there. So you can strain that through there. OK, So we cool. get it nice and smooth. Yep. And then we're going to make, with the chicken, we are going to make the filling for the tortellini. So I'm going to use the leg meat for the uh, tortellinis. So all you do, because it's so tender, mm. is you just sort of pulling the meat away from the bone. So any cartilage or bone or, um, you know, fat or anything that you don't want to eat, just don't put it in. Right. You now you can use a little bit of the breast if you want, but we are going to keep the breast and we're going to flake it like that and we're going to pop it through the soup as well. I'm one of those guys that just eat everything on a chicken. <laughs> Even the bones? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it dry, usually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting thought. <laughs> well, I don't like to waste, you know. <laughs> no, no, good. And, and that's the whole thing. So we're using a whole chicken and you're not mm. wasting any of it, you know, yeah. because we... we we, you know, we've cooked the carcass and we've made a stock and that's going to be the broth. Look at that, quite brilliant. <laughs> so we've got, the, we've got the meat here, so just yes. be careful because it's quite hot, you know, so just, you know, you just break it up a little bit. Yep. You just want it manageable. Don't mash it so it's uh, no texture in there. You still okay. want a little bit of texture, but, um, you know, it's just like that. You don't want big lumps, you just want it sort of stringy. Yeah. Exactly, okay, exactly. Cool. So I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese, we're just putting into that now, so the heat will just sort of slowly melt that in. And then we've got some herbs. So I'm going to use the same herbs again, so we've got a running theme through the dish. Oh yeah, cool. So a little bit of basil, that'll freshen it up. Yum. Uh, a little bit of tarragon. Tarragon and uh, chicken, beautiful, great mm. combination. You know, this is sort of quite a simple um, tortellini mix. You know, got the tops of the fennel as well. But you know, you could put mustard in here, you could put onions, garlic, you know, you could put whatever you want in here. Well, know? I'm quite excited we're making it around because usually I just buy it pre-made, yeah. you know. <laughs> How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> so this right. is good learning yeah. here today on so the cafe. A little bit of seasoning just yep. to lift it. Oh, that's okay. looking good. Yeah, so just give it a mash a bit and then you're sort of looking for that sort of consistency, you know, where it'll sort of stick together like that. Right, so there's you know? a little bit of moisture from yeah, little, the broth. Yeah, a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit more cheese, and, you know, as it heats up... It. Yep. Yeah, as it heats up, it's going to melt around, it's going to bind it and make it nice and juicy and succulent okay, inside. Okay, yeah, this is looking fantastic. <laughs> right, so we've got our mix, and Smells then all good. we're going to do, we strain the stock, so the broth there, so we've got all that flavour in there, and then yep. I've just got some vegetables that I'm going to chop up, so I've got fennel, so fennel as well with chicken, mm -hmm. really nice, nice and aniseedy, some carrot, some red onion, and I'm going to put some spring onion tops in there as well. Okay. So just last Minute, but I'm going to put the vegetables in now and we'll simmer them in the stock for about 15 minutes till they're nice and soft and we'll serve them in there. And then we've got some broad beans and peas to finish that. Fantastic. So come back and we'll make that in just a sec. Okay, sweet. Well, there you go. Get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. More tips for making the perfect pasta, the perfect tortellini. And look who's joined us in the cafe kitchen, the incredible <laughs> Ursula Carlton. Yay! So good yes. to have you. I love, I love food. Yeah, same. Okay, yeah. good. Well, you're in the right place. Do you make much pasta? Yeah, I do, actually. Do you? I got a pasta maker for my 40th. And and uh, I've been using it, cranking it out. Cranking yeah. it out. But it doesn't look as tidy <laughs> as that. It looks like it was attacked by a wolf. <laughs> but it's all about the taste. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think Mark's going to show us. How. Have you ever rolled right. some tortellini before? I have, yes. Oh, well, you'll be a pro. Thing, but... Have you, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't roll a lot? No, no, I don't roll a lot. Just too busy sucking the chicken. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. right so, we, so we've got our mix here. So just take a little portion, just sort of boil it up roughly, and then I'm going to pop it in the middle. That looks put, like a big filling. 
Yeah, we're making a big... Uh, t all right, we'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Probably a little <laughs> bit big. Well, uh, nothing wrong with portion size there. <laughs> okay, so... Right, and, then, and then, so pop it in the middle. Yes. And then you fold it over. Yeah. And then with your thumb, you can... It always looks a bit dry. It's I'm all about dry. the moisture. So you can put a little bit of water yes. on there, just to stick it. Mm -hmm. And then using your thumb, you're just going around and making like a, a pillow. Okay. I've got, I can do that at home. All right, so the key is you don't want to put any air in there. You don't right. want to get any air in there. And then get a cutter um. or a nifty glass. Cut it out. Oh. And then lift it up. Oh, there's more to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got to do the and fancy fold thing. Fold it around oh. and then just pinch those two pieces together. Oh, that looks and really good. And you get a beautiful looks, tortellini. Yeah. Okay, nice. And then we're going to cook these in our broth a bit later. Oh, right. wow. So I need 20 of these. 20? Off you go. <laughs> wow. Okay, 18, I'll do yeah. two. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Right here, come over here. Okay. Is, is that about right? Can I for just you? say, if you um, gonna cut on your own countertop at home, <laughs> make sure there's either a board or something, and you're not just cutting up the. But this is for television, so obviously they don't have someone that'll come in and yell at you. Oh, I think we might after. <laughs> Do you want me to ball some for you? Yeah. Or you are good at balls? We're gonna have a tortellini off. Okay. Okay. Well, this is you oh, know a bit fine. different to telling jokes on the telly, isn't it? Eh, uh, not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, so... I don't, don't, the, don't look at my work, mate. You focus on your own I work. Know, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> I know, I want a copy off you. I know. Okay, mine's, moisture. Mine's pretty small. Yeah, I need to Yeah, moisture. so you do need a little bit of water, so it's a little yeah. bit, it just dry out a little bit. Share the moisture. Mm -hmm. I would just stick our fingers in there, do <laughs> yeah. we? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Well, this eat kitchen it. does not have an A grade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have an apron. <laughs> just an A grade chef. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Aww. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not doing very well with getting the air out of this. Oh, that's, that's good. Look at that. Oh, look at you. I'll put too much. Tide is <laughs> right, mate. Tide is right. And then what do you do? Oh, I cut it. Cut yes, it. and then oh, cut mine's, it. Mine's a complete debacle. <laughs> there right. you go. Give it a go. I'm not going to have anything to... I'm not going to have anything to fold up. Oh, you, you, you got a bit big oh, on the filling. Yeah, your ball is too big. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. How do you do that Just bit? Just around, joining it. Look at that. Make a little Beautiful. Amish hat. <laughs> oh, there. Fantastic. There you go, Cher. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, my mine. <laughs> mine looks it's... like a big fat snail. <laughs> <laughs> that you... someone stepped on. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> OK, well, do you want we'll how many more? 17. Uh, 17 more, yeah. Oh, that's right. a long show. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to judge, but I don't think you've got enough pasta for that. Well, if you keep making them like that, we've definitely <laughs> got enough pasta. OK, well, we'll carry on making these. And is there anything else we need to know, Mark? Uh, no, so we've got the broth on, the vegetables yep. are in, so that's going to sort of slowly simmer, turn it down for about 50 minutes till they're nice and soft. About five minutes out, we're going to pop these in. It'll take about sort of five minutes and then we just serve it up. And we've got the rest of the breast from the chicken. We're just going to flake in and put into our bowl so it just warms up. And that is it. Can nice. I just say, uh, this <laughs> one didn't in. make it in. <laughs> oh, is that mine? I'll just, I'll just put it in, in this um, pot over here. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, can't be good at everything. <laughs> Turned out. It's really good. Um, Ursula's a totally is really good actually. Oh, so good. just plate it up oh. now. Oh. All oh, here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh that looks wow. great. Oh.